So here's a quick instruction on how to create your very own digital color wheel for our assignment, the digital color wheel assignment. You can see here on the left, you've got all your instructions, what you need to do. You need to have all 12 colors on the color wheel, an image for each color, and of course, picking a theme is going to make this a whole lot easier. If you scroll on over to the right, you're going to see the little circle here. It says click to see an example. So you can see the example that I created. I chose feathers and a turkey because Thanksgiving is coming up. Of course, you can choose whatever theme that you would like to create your color wheel with. And of course, I have a color wheel right here. Don't forget, you can use your zoom key right up here in the top so that you can see those colors and their names a little bit easier. You are going to have to label your colors as well. I chose to use an arrow. So you simply go up here to your shape tools and pick whatever shape that you want to use for your labels for your colors. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop my shape in as soon as it allows me to. So forgive me here. There it goes. And of course, if you double click on that shape, you can type in the color that you need. Now, I chose feathers for mine, so I'm going to head on over here to Google. I already searched up violet feather, and I want to be able to remove the background around that feather. Right here, we have a website called remove.bg very easy to use. All you have to do is drag your desired image from Google right into remove.bg. It's going to download it for you. And there you go. You'll see it already dropped out that black background around the feather. Simply click download and it's going to download that image right onto your device. Right up here in my right hand corner, you can see where it says downloads for me. You're going to find your downloads wherever you'd like. And all I really need to do is drag and drop that downloaded image right into my digital color wheel. There it is. And you can see I can move it around. There's no background around it interfering with any of my other backgrounds or any of my other pictures on my little color wheel here. And of course, I can rotate it and resize it as I wish. So today you're just doing part one, the digital color wheel. Once again, pick a theme, pick a shape for each color, arrange it how you wish. Just as long as your colors are in the right order, they're either next to each other or touching. And of course, you can have any theme you choose for your color wheel. That's up to you. And don't forget, click here to see an example on how my little Thanksgiving turkey came out. You choose your own theme. I can't wait to see what you come up with.